Hey guys, today I am here to unbox the world's first robotic cube, the XMARS cube. Uh, if you remember, I uploaded a video about six months ago in uh, September of 2019. Uh, just kind of talk about this uh, cube that's going to be coming out. And well, here it is. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm used to seeing it with all the colors. Uh, I've never seen it with it turned off before. This is really neat. Definitely going to take a little bit getting used to though, because I don't even know really how to hold it quite yet. Uh, so here's our regular 3x3 cube, and here is the XMARS cube. Uh, obviously it's a little bit bigger, because uh, it just extends on the sides and the top a little bit. But, uh, from my first impressions, um, obviously this is plastic, which is fine. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. Uh, then the center uh, part of the cube actually is very durable. It must be some sort of metal or something. It doesn't feel cheap and um, it's just, it's really nice. Uh, now I just have to play with it and uh, figure out how to just hold it the best way. I think there was a charging how do I open this? Uh, there was a charging cable with it. Yep, right here. Oh, an instruction manual. So the on switch, uh, there's the charging input right here. And then the power button is right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, XMARS quick manual. Uh, looks like there is a side in, uh, I think it's Korean. And then hopefully there's English. <laughs> and yeah, this is English. I was told that they do have an Android app for this, um, but for now um, I don't have the app. So I'm gonna have to read this manual and figure out exactly how to um, get these modes working because I really want to learn that beginner method since my channel is based <laughs> for beginners so it would be really neat to at least figure out that function um, and then I just have to learn how to turn the cube <laughs> in an effective manner um, and I have no idea what I just did but it looks like oh my gosh this is this is crazy Oh, it's moving for me. I don't want to touch it right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna give it uh, maybe a couple days here, uh, put a few hours into learning how to uh, to work this little monster here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is super neat. Um, so yeah, I will be back in a couple days and I will hopefully have this thing figured out a little bit more. Hey, what's going on guys? So I took the last couple days and uh, spent many hours just trying to figure out exactly how this cube works because let me tell you when I first turned it on I had no idea what to do and uh, but yeah so now I do and so let's go ahead and turn it on by pressing a little power button right there and again if you could see that right there we do have the uh, the USB uh, port so you could charge it when the battery goes dead all right so now we get to uh, see what mode we have um, and it came with this crazy manual. Well, it looks crazy at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad, and it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. I was able to learn quite a bit from it. Uh, we have nine different modes, um, and here you could turn it with the purple, which brings me uh, to say, it's kind of interesting how they chose purple instead of orange. Um, so opposite of red is orange on uh, so like so this will be the red side opposite of red should be orange but they have purple so I wonder if it's just because of like an LED issue um, just because maybe orange and yellow look very similar that's my guess uh, because you could change the brightness on the LEDs and uh, it looks very uh, the yellow starts turning into more of an orangey color you might be able to see a little bit of it right now but that might be why they chose purple all right, so here we have different modes. Um, let's go to the purple and turn that. You go to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine different modes on the yellow. 
and then it goes back to zero. So once we select the zero, and then the green shows up, and then we get to switch different modes uh, from the green. So as you can see, there's just so many different modes that we can choose from. So here on the box, they have non-puzzle features. So you have an alarm clock, a dancing player, self-running, intelligent dice, shake scramble, clone mode, and programming using Scratch. And that's just a few of the non-puzzle features that they have uh, for the XMars Cube. The manual shows a lot more that it could do. Uh, so here we can go ahead and scramble it normally uh, or manually ourselves and then just solve it when we're ready to solve it. So that's mode zero, zero. So zero for the yellow and then zero for the green and that's solving it manually. So here I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, one of the modes, I have to find the power button because if we just click it fast or if we hold it down for half a second it goes back to uh, where you can switch a mode. So one of my favorite modes, it's under master solving on the manual here, uh, which is number three for the yellow. And then select that and then zero. So what that's gonna do is, oops. So what that's gonna do is, it's gonna go ahead and just scramble it for you automatically. And I think that's just pretty amazing. All right, so once it's done scrambling, it's gonna give you about 15 seconds, and then you'll be able to solve it. There we go, once it beeps, then you get to solve it yourself. Okay, so we have the white cross there. All right, now let's, oops. Sometimes I accidentally uh, still move different pieces when I shouldn't. And that's just something I just have to get used to here. So my times are never around what they normally are on the normal uh, speed cube, but. And then also you could change the, you could turn off the sounds if you want to, but I really like hearing the sounds. It's uh, pretty, pretty neat and it kind of keeps it going, I think. All right, so now we just have one more edge piece to put in. Now we're working on the yellow. Then it shows you your time, which is pretty amazing. So we have one minute, um, and then it's a tens of seconds, I believe it is. So one, one, and then uh, I believe that's a eight. So a minute and 18 seconds. Uh, so not bad. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to a little bit, doing some mess ups here and there, but it's just really neat. That's why this is my favorite mode. Uh, again, it's um, once you ever get your hands on it, you'll be able to look at the manual, but it's mode three for the yellow and then zero for the green. So that kind of just brings me to the point that uh, the XMARS Cube provides a service for staff at cubing venues to make different scrambles and records time. There's also a different variety of games that you could play, such as like half blind mode. There's a penalty games. There's games for beginners to learn different algorithms. And since my channel is all about uh, teaching new people how to solve the cube, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you just some uh, modes about learning different algorithms. So with that is mode number one on the yellow, select it and then let's go to two and then we'll see what that does. All right, it looks like if we know how to solve the cube, we just have to move that over, but it's gonna teach us how to do it. I don't know if you can hear my baby upstairs, but yeah, he's having a good time. All right, cool. Oops. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, super cool. All right, so another mode I want to show you is just to, just to learn the basics of the cube and uh, just to where the colors need to go. So this is mode zero for the yellow and then mode two for the green. And what it's going to do is uh, just basically do basic moves on where the colors need to go so you have to fix it real quick. So as you can see, uh, this red needs to go here. So we'll just move the bottom to where it fixes it. And then like, let's say if you uh, don't hit it in time, uh, what happens? So white needs to go down there, but it just turns red and then it goes on to the next one. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool on how that works. So you can kind of just get faster about um, where the colors need to go. All right, so I've already shown you a few different modes here and um, I had to read this manual. I mean, it was pretty difficult at first. Uh, it was just pretty overwhelming. Um, again, they have a Korean side and then they have an English side. Uh, once you do get your hands on this XMARS cube, uh, don't be too overwhelmed by um, the manual. Just slowly just go through it and I'm sure you'll be able to figure out just like I did. If not, what you could do is either, um, I maybe someday I'll make another video on different modes on what you could do with the XMARS cube. Um, but right now there is an Android app that is available for the XMARS cube. And there is a Korean beta tester that's on the XMARS cube uh, YouTube channel and he really explains on how to use the Android app with the cube. And then also he has another video that explains just different modes on what this um, uh, cube can do. And currently right now the XMARS cube is not out on the market. So once it is, um, I will put the, uh, the link in the video description so you have quick access to that. So yeah, that leaves me with my final thoughts of the XMARS cube. Um, I think it's amazing. I think everybody should have this part of their uh, cube collection. Um, I mean, you, you can't really say no to uh, the world's first robotic intelligent cube, right? <laughs> but yeah, having this part of your collection is just something really cool. And um, again, it just has so many different features on it. Um, it is plastic, so again, I wouldn't let my two-year-old uh, play with it standing up because it could drop and uh, just maybe chip the corner or break that off. Um, but it doesn't feel cheap though, but you know, it's still plastic and it could break. Um, the core or the center is super solid and steady. So yeah, I, I think this is a very well-made cube and I just give 100% props to the engineers and the team who created and designed this. And yeah, so I'm going to leave you with one last thing I think is really cool with this cube. So if you like this video, please uh, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. and. I will see you guys in my next video.